Let's talk a little bit about z-scores or standardized scores or standardized data. Okay, so, so for any random variable x, it could be normal, it could be binomial, it could be whatever you want it to be, or even any number, little x, the z-score is defined to be, uh, if it, you're talking about a random variable, it's the random variable minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Or if you're talking about just a position um, underneath the density curve or, or for, for any number, any real number, um, with respect to this distribution for x, um, you just take the number, subtract the mean, and divide by the standard deviation of x. What this physically represents, you should be able to see by the formula, is it's the number of standard deviations x is from average, or that the the the, the mark little x is from average. Okay, so you you can think of this. You know, it's possible to think of these z scores as being random variables themselves, like in this case, hia or hia. Okay. Or you can think of it as, you know, let's say you actually observe a particular guy who's 70 inches tall, okay? Then for this 70 inch tall fella, take, uh, you know, what's the z scores? Take 70 inches, subtract off the mean for all the guys, and divide that by the standard deviation, okay? So he's 0.357 about, he's about 0.357 standard deviations above average, okay? That's not too um, too crazy. But if you saw someone who was 80 inches tall, his z-score would be 3.9. Okay, 3.9. Okay, there are no units on z-scores. There are no units on z-scores because the numerator is going to have units of inches, and the denominator has units of inches. If there were units, and there there aren't, but if there were, and there aren't, but if there were there aren't, but if there were units on the z-scores, they would be in standard deviations, okay? Standard deviation is not a proper unit, though, because it changes from problem to problem. All right. Does that make some sense?